And today I'm going to detail how the bioflavonoid luteolin fights the effects of skin inflammation, both from the ultraviolet radiation of prolonged sun exposure and also in inflammatory skin conditions like psoriasis. We find luteolin in foods like peppers, oregano, thyme, and even chrysanthemum flowers. And flavonoids are plant compounds that defend against excess ultraviolet radiation, partially by absorbing the radiation. And luteolin's anti-inflammatory effects include suppression of pro-inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-6, interleukin-1-beta, and tumor necrosis factor alpha. Luteolin's anti-inflammatory effects are related to luteolin's strong antioxidant capabilities, and this is particularly important because oxidative stress plays a pivotal role in many inflammatory skin processes like psoriasis, but also in normal healthy responses like wound healing. The wound healing process consists of four primary phases, hemostasis, inflammation, proliferation, and remodeling. Each of these phases concerns a variety of steps that enable efficient and successful wound closure. Prolonged and even pre-existing inflammation can be detrimental to wound healing because it may cause new tissue damage while also delaying the proliferation of skin cells. The first skin cells that work to close an open wound are fibroblasts. And here is an area where you can really see luteolin's direct support for wound healing because luteolin increases the proliferation of fibroblasts, resulting in faster wound healing, better epithelial regeneration, and most critically of all, less inflammation. Oxidative damage is a large component of ultraviolet skin exposure, leading to an almost immediate increase in hydrogen peroxide production. And while vitamins E and C, along with carotenoids, and even the ultraviolet absorbing compound melanin, all help to offset the inflammatory tissue damage, these endogenous protective measures, which are part of what's called the antioxidant response element, can be severely stressed when exposed to repeat ultraviolet radiation, leading to the rapid premature skin aging known as photoaging. Luteolin supports these endogenous protective countermeasures specifically by enhancing the expression of a protein called tristetroprolin, which directly regulates the antioxidant response element. Ultraviolet exposure also sharply decreases skin hyaluronic acid content. It even leads to the degradation of hyaluronic acid by the metabolic enzyme hyaluronidase. And this is another specific area where luteolin can reduce photoaging because luteolin directly inhibits hyaluronidase, thus totally avoiding the degradation of hyaluronic acid and the accelerated skin dryness that accompanies it. Now that you understand how luteolin supports a normal inflammatory response to common everyday stimuli, let's take a look at how luteolin can help with a specific inflammatory skin condition like psoriasis. Psoriasis is an autoimmune disease characterized by hyperproliferation of keratinocytes, the primary cells in the epidermis, and chronic inflammation distinguished by an increase in both tumor necrosis factor alpha and also vascular endothelial growth factor. When keratinocytes function normally, they maintain the structural integrity of the epidermal barrier, thus protecting the skin from water loss, infection, and also excess ultraviolet radiation. But in psoriasis, there's also an increased number of lesional skin mast cells, which can all secrete tumor necrosis factor alpha themselves. And tumor necrosis factor alpha can trigger keratinocytes to produce interleukin-1, which then stimulates both keratinocytes and mast cells to release interleukin-6, and all of these promote inflammation. Luteolin decreases both tumor necrosis factor alpha and the related nuclear factor kappa B, thus providing a critical counterbalance against the painful and unsightly inflammation of psoriasis. As a supplement, luteolin is available either as capsules or a pure bulk powder, and powdered luteolin might be a better option for skin health overall, because in addition to internal consumption of luteolin, you could also combine the powdered luteolin with a common carrier oil to apply topically to the skin itself. And one carrier oil to consider in this regard is vitamin E oil, because vitamin E actually enhances luteolin's photoprotective and antioxidant properties. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.